Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video on how to use uh, what's called data validation, um, which allows you to basically create like checkers, check marks uh, in a Google form that would be like a, you know, a requirement in order to move forward. Uh, so you could use it for like a password, you could use it for a clue, you could use it if you don't get this right, you can't move forward in the form um, kind of way. So uh, I just wanted to show you how simple it is to set up something like that and then uh, give you guys a chance to kind of explore ways that you think you might be able to use um, data valid validation, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, so for example, I have this... Um, using context clues to solve solve riddles and identify what what the what the word means so i have like this it's from this worksheet um here and then i copied and pasted it in here and made it into a multiple choice question so um the correct answer is milk and so maybe i want to have um question that uses data validation as a checker to make sure that students know what that means before they're able to move forward in the form. Okay, so I'm going to add a question and it's going to come underneath here and I'm going to change this to be a short answer question and, and then I'm going to change this to be um, Okay, so one of the context clues that I um, want people, want students to be able to pull out is the fact that it's a drink. Um, so because if it's a drink, uh, it definitely can't be the other two. So maybe I should even change this question. So which context clue eliminates the two other answers um, is really what I could have asked my question. So um, in this question, now, I then click on these three dots and I choose what's called data validation. And you can use this with numbers as well. Um, so, you know, if you add up your choice, you know, point value from this question and this question and this question, if they don't equal this, then you can't move forward in the form. Um, I, don't I could show you what that looks like. That's like kind of like using it as a choose your own adventure as well. So short answer text, I want it to be that the text um, is exactly right? Um, so I'm going to say contains and I want it to say drink. Um, and then you can also have like a custom error text that, um, you know, look for one then eliminates okay. So that's, that's what I want to use. And then what I'm going to do is create a new section. And after this section, then they get to go and try more questions. Okay. So now what this looks like when I preview this form and I take this form. Okay. So I answer my question. I decide that it's milk and list a context clue. Um, and I type in, I'm going to say skim. So because skim doesn't match the other context clue, the clue that I actually put in there, it's saying look for one that eliminates the other two choices. All right, so skim is not the, not the clue or not the answer that's going to get me to the next stage of my form. So, okay, I'm going to change this. So if I click on this and I click next, it's not going to let me go forward. Do you see that? So now I'm like, okay, let me try again. Let me look through again. Okay, drink. All right, now I'm able to move on to the next section and I can solve more problems. So isn't that like super awesome? It's a super awesome way um, to use uh, data validation. Another option that you could do is like having students go through problems and they're solving problems or they're working through a worksheet and you could say, um, you know, if you select this answer, add one, okay? And then for each answer, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose a different number. So for this answer, if you have this answer, you're gonna add two. And then for this one, 
you're going to add three. I hope you get where I'm going with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this question. I'm going to go do a different one. So now I'm going to go get a different uh, question. You can do this for all different types of questions. I'm just using this because this is what I have right now. So I'm just... Coming back here, and I'm going to change this out here, okay? And sometimes when you copy and paste like that, you might have to change the formatting just a little bit. And so now I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to X out of this one. Leave, and I'm going to come back here. So car, boat, bike. Okay, so this option is car, and if you say car, and I'm going to do lowercase. And, sorry, I just was undoing my extra over-deleting and bike. Okay, so now, instead of list a context clue that helped you, I'm going to change this to be add up. And imagine more questions with more of this. Add your answers together. Add up all your answers and put the number below. Okay, and so let's, so my correct answers are milk, so that's two, and bike, that's three, so I want this to be a number, and I want it, the number to be equal to five. And then my custom error text, um, Okay, and so then if I preview this form, so you get the idea, you know, you're getting certain things or you're adding all of these up or, you know, you could use a, a phrase. If you selected this answer, your code word is pizza. If you uh, selected this answer, your code word is pizza and soda um, or it's, it is now pizza and soda or whatever. And then you'd have them put in a phrase at the end if you wanted to. So if I put in, let me just, I'm going to click in here. I'm going to do seven and go and I get to so see. So it's looking exactly for five and then I can move on to the second section. So um, that's another way of using this kind of like, you know, practicing prescriptive assessment and then moving forward um, through with uh, data validation for a question. You could also use this for a password. Uh, once you answer questions one and two, come to Ms. Gilmore and get your password and you come here and the password is and they have to type in the password. So, or you're going around the room as a scavenger hunt and the QR code did something and it tells them, you know, they answer three questions. And when they submit a form, they get a password for another form. Um, and then you put the password in. So um, there's a ton of ways that you could use this. Um, and I could sit here and just blab through a bunch of different ways, but I'd love for you guys to come up with some examples that we can share out and really come up with uh, some good strategies for use with students.